Talberg will toss that one in. The Blaze will pick it up behind the goal line with Luciani. Luciani turns, gets it up to the half wall. The Blaze cycling to Luciani. Luciani on the back and couldn't get a shot away. Blake Thompson will try and fire one. That shot's heavily blocked off one of the clan forwards. Luciani tries to feed the defenseman. Clan are going to come the other way, two on one. Pellick drops it off. Shot comes in, kicked away. Oh, it's loose in the crease. The Blaze are able to mop up Blake Thompson. Make sure that Mike Pellick can't dunk it into the empty net. Blaze have that puck wide, sent through the crease. J.D. Dudek was trying to pick it up. Puck floated in deep. Oh, it comes off J.D. Dudek and a stop from Linscog. There's a Blaze make something relatively from nothing there, Stu. Puck chipped in deep. Kobe Roth's going to go and get it. Feels like the Coventry Blaze after Glasgow Clan had the probably the best opportunity of the night on that two on one have started to ramp up the pressure. There'll be a chance here from McNulty. Shot stop. Rebound comes out. Good save. Big rebound. And another big save by Linscock. Nathan Ripley on the doorstep looking for his first of the regular season. That's four goals in the cup. But, well, I don't think he'll get much of a better look than that. It was a really good stop for the goalie. McNulty. On the no-look drop-off that Danny Cristo just over-skated. Puts it in deep for Kobe Roth. Roth. McNaughty whizzes it around the boards. Clements, fresh off GB duty. Cycles the puck. Roth looking weak side. It does come through to Kukali via a stick. He's going to look down low at his options. Kobe Roth hanging free, weak side, trying to be an option. Kukali might go himself here. Turns fire stick save by Linscog. Really nice offensive awareness by Kukali. Clements will get it back to the American. He looks in, fires, oh, good glove save by Linscock. Flashy, did the splits as he threw the catcher up there. Real nice net mining from the Swede. Very nice net mining from the Swede. I mean, like you say, good offensive awareness from Alexander Kukali. Um, he gets himself into a position here. He skates it, gets a nice angle on the shot. Bit of a screen. Linscock equal to it with a glove, though. And uh, just a moment before, he comes around with a wraparound attempt that he gets a good um, kick save out of Linscock. So two, two good opportunities. He's there crafted by Alexander Kakali. Yeah. Dudek in the corner, spins away from the... Oh, hit from De Roche. Look like he left his leg into that one, Stu. And, well, those are the ones that can cause injuries, but J.D. Dudek is okay. Now here come the clown the other way. Lynch on the backhand, sends it towards the net front. Puck ends up wide of the target in the corner. Petrick wanted a one-timer. Basco's weak side, oh, off a blaze, bodied in. The clan get on the board first with a bit of puck luck against the Coventry Blaze. Let's look at this one again. Kelly looks like he throws this puck out towards the weak side. It redirects off a body and in. Yeah, puck, puck there coming across. It looks like it's Luke Lynch who's got the puck here. He turns, just tries to play it across and then complete deflection past Tarrant Cozen. Really unfortunate. Yeah. Blaze will pick that up, play back to the defense. Quick pass, Norris is going to throw through a crowd, big tip. Oh, it came out at right angles. Didn't fall into the Blaze hands, shock from Kukali from the point. There's a rebound out in front, Linscock still didn't have it cleanly. He does now, the whistle goes, there'll be a little bit of a scrum in front. As once again, the Coventry Blaze have a big look at net and a uh, couple of good saves from uh, Kevin Linscock. And, oh, that redirection could have gone anywhere. That redirection really could have gone anywhere. You can see that the players battling for it there. Uh, Linscook has to really fight to get his glove over the top of that, but once he does, uh, the referee blows the whistle and uh, he's made the stop again. Blaze can't uh, mop up that puck cleanly on the face off, and Hayden's going to throw one in deep. Glove down by Cozen. Plays it smartly around the boards. Christo on a two on one. Now the Coventry Blaze is going to have a chance up ice. If McNulty can beat Roach, he's got a breakaway. He can on the backhand. Good save, but there's going to be a penalty on the play. Maybe a penalty shot, though. Kukali in front of scored. Kukali ties it up on the delayed penalty goal. It was a breakaway from McNulty. He forced a save out of the netminder. I think Kukali just posted up nicely, like a center in basketball. And he dunks it from the feed from Roth, and the Blaze tie it up. Brilliant work from Alexander Kakali, who certainly got his offensive uh, game going this evening. Puck comes in, he's just there, man on the doorstep. He knows it's a delayed penalty. He knows as a defenseman he can pinch up and get involved because that play is now safe. He's taken advantage of that, of having that safety, put himself in the right position to make a play, and he's done well for it. Now Mike Pellick's going to find a pass to Hayden. Hayden on the drop-off to Craig, and he steps in, fires. Oh, it took a heavy redirection on the way through. Coase had no idea where the puck was. It's jammed in tight, and they score. 
Gary Hayden able to bank one in behind Taron Cozen and the Glasgow clan only 90 seconds into the second period have their lead back and well a couple of big chances for them here you see the first one leaks through Cozen and eventually it's converted here by Hayden on the backhand any time where you get the netminder having to turn around and scramble to search for the puck and they can't find it, you're always in a good position there. And they, they, Taron Kozen never really looks settled in the net after struggling to find that first one. And, and Hayden just gets on the puck, chips it up short side over the shoulder and into the back of the net to make it 2-1 to the Glasgow clan. Sol, hard pass across for Kelly. He looks into some space, fires, padded away by Kozen, there's a rebound! And somehow that's kept out. It's under Taron Cozen, sprawling down to his left. And the Glasgow clan very nearly had a third. Let's take a look at this one again, Stu. Similar sort of situation where Taron Cozen comes out, he's challenging, and then has to turn around to reach and get that puck. Goes over the back of his shoulder, but this time it's kind of jammed on the net, and Cozen reaches around, gets his glove over the top of it, makes a solid stop there. And uh, good to get a couple of big saves after, after letting one in just moments ago. Yeah. Stevenson drop that in deep Carter Allen 50-50 swings his lumber oh it comes out in front big opportunity the puck was bobbling for lack of it Reddick will fire it but wide off the glass oh that nearly fell absolutely plumb for Robert Lakovitz, but the puck was always bobbling and bouncing he couldn't settle it to fire a shot on goal as a big hit comes in from Carter Allen on Robert Lakovitz. can't have that puck in front Nathan Ripley's going to pick it up and he'll chip it out <laughs> an eventful shift for Lacko the players will come the other way. Oh, nice move in front. Dangles. Oh, they score. J.D. Dudek with a candidate for goal of the season. All alone in the offensive zone. He dangles through two defensemen. Beats Linscog on the dummy. And the Coventry Blazers have tied it up with a bit of magic from J.D. Dudek. Wow. We've seen J.D. Dudek's hands on the penalty shots this season. But there it was on the, uh, not even really a breakaway opportunity. Just creating it for himself. He gets round the defenseman and then really undresses Kevin Linscook, sends the puck into the back of the net. Fantastic from the blaze forward. Yeah. Blaze win the draw, but the puck ends up here in the neutral zone. David Clements will drop back for Kobe Roth. Roth will drop off for McNaughty. Roth's going to head straight to the net. Roth with a loose puck out in front. He's got an opportunity. Linscock bites. He tries to bank it in off the Swede who makes the stop. The blaze have kept the puck in the offensive zone. Clements will drop it down low, but it's gathered up by Kelly, Ripley turns it back the other way. That was a lovely bit of creativity from Kobe Roth. Now Alexander Kukali on the half wall. Drops that puck into the corner. Chance maybe for Kirk upon the snappy little wrister. Low glove save by Linscock, he hangs on. And that was a really nice attempt. A cheeky attempt from Kobe Roth. But when, you know, when you're playing with confidence and when you're a cerebral player, you know, he sees the ice so well, you could try and bank one of those in. They, they, they go in. Piss off one by the Blaze, Norrish. Dropped off one time from Norrish. Oh, he got a lot of it. There's a chance out in front off the backboards. Talberg sticks all tied up in his well, those Swedes equipment in the net mind. It ends up getting dislodged. And now oh, here's Kobe Roth on the weak side to the point. Norrish drops it off. Clements will flick one towards there, hits the pipe, and the Blaze thought they've scored. It looked like it hit on the side of the bar. Play will continue. Kobe Roth. Weak side, lovely feed from Roth. Clements is going to shoot. Stopped by Linscog. Puck comes out in front. Back to Clements. Blaze have penned the clan in here. Norrish tries to flick one around Lakovic. He can't get it past his stick. That's sent the length by the clan. And, well, the Coventry Blaze come as close to scoring on that power play without actually lighting the lamp um, as you'd ever see in a hockey game. That was mighty close. <laughs> Luciani in the corner off the boards for Blake Thompson. Thompson. Cross to the D, gets it, gets it back. Looked at shooting through a crowd, but decides to hang on. Dudek, toe drag, hash marks, oh, he hits the iron as well. Loose puck is out in front. The clan will clear. What are the plays going to do to score on this power play? They've done absolutely everything but put the puck in the net, and it's probably been one of the best power play shifts we've seen in the Skydome from the Coventry Blaze in a long time. Face off. Won by Glasgow in the skates of Kelly. He'll 
make the sensible play, banks it off the glass and out. Thompson <coughs> chasing it back into his own zone. Round the boards. A little flick off by, oh, Ripley, there's a big collision with Norrish and one of the clan guys. Blaze come the other way with Ripley, puts the brakes on. One time from Norrish down low, padded the side by Lindsay. I'm really glad, by the way, Brady Norrish is okay. And the clan player after that collision, it was, looked a little awkward as the Blaze score. Arista from the point, Mitch Cook buries itself between the legs of Linscoe. The Blaze score from nothing against the run of play here, Stu. And it's 3-2 to Coventry, their first lead of the night. Yeah, like you say, really just from nothing there. Bit of a deflection. Might have come off Nathan Ripley's skates. We'll get a look here. Puck thrown in there. Or maybe, sorry, J.D. Dudek in front of net. Cook there, get, throws it in. Might have taken a deflection. Certainly looked to have it. Kevin Linskook fooled, fooled there. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. The Blaze will get, their, get the first lead of the game for them. Little tussle on the backboards, won by the Blaze. Kirk up, there's a man out of front of Mitch Cookie shoots, but away came the defenseman to just take away his stick. Lovely play. I think that's by the centerman actually in Pellick. Really lovely defensive play by the center. And that prevents Mitch Cook having a great eight. And Kevin Linscog will come off now. Is the clan going to go six on five with the empty net? Koza's going to stop it. Koza might shoot. Oh, he didn't get all of it. There's going to be a chance for the clan. Stevenson blazes it just wide. Oh, the drama. Stevenson behind the goal line, turns away into the corner. At the half wall to the goal line. Lynch on the drop off. De Roche keeps it alive on the backhand. Flicks one through. Blocked on the way through by Kukali. He's down on one knee. There might be a chance out in front. The puck redirects him behind the goal. Thompson squeezes his man into the boards. One minute to go in this game. In regulation anyway. Can the clan find a light gasping uh, game tying goal? Here's Lynch to the slot. One time and they can. They score. De Roche buries it low on the one timer. And the Glasgow clan, but more drama in this hockey game. It almost seemed inevitable that it would happen. Lots of battling around the boards there. Puck springs out, and the new signing, De Roche, gets the one timer past Taron Cozen. Talberg. Oh, stick handles through everybody. Talberg's going to have a big chance. He shoots. Good block. A save. Oh, it's on the line. The nuts come off. It's Moorings. Let's take a look again. A big opportunity. Kim Talberg took a big piece of Linscog off the save. The puck just sat there, but I don't think it fell behind the line, Stu. I don't think it did as well. What work from Kim Talberg as he comes across. Puck comes there. It's loose, but there's a diving, sprawling play from both Linscog and the, and the clan defenseman. I can't quite see. Face off to the right of Linscock. Massive part of this hockey game here in OT. Coventry Blake's first power play of the night was good. It hit both posts. Second one, the clan did a pretty good job of neutralizing, but can they make it third time's a charm? Here is Norrish. Puck's bobbling awfully on him. He settles it. Dudek, he'll step in. Thought about the shot. Dudek all over to Norrish. A big one-timer. Blasted it just wide. Norrish again. And Dudek, a scramble out in front. Over to Norrish again, this time big block from Stevenson. Picked up by Norrish. Over to Dudek, he'll go himself. That's blocked this time by Redick. He'll end up in the netting and we'll have a stoppage in the clan bench, love that one. Yeah, big block there from Dyson Stevenson, right? Diving in front and uh, very happy with that. The, the clan bench there knocking uh, the sticks on the board, giving the, showing their appreciation. Roth, back from Norrish, back to Nor oh, back to Norrish from Rothy. Try to force that one-timer. Wins the puck well, over to Roth. Roth might have a look here. Decides to drop it off to Dudek instead. To the goal line. Dudek picks that puck up, by the stick of the clan, they score! Hat-trick from Dudek! And the Blaze get it done in OT! And that power play, Stu, all night had been zeroing in, and it is rather unsurprisingly the hat-trick hero, J.D. Dudek, who gets it done for Coventry. A brilliant wrist shot, a brilliant release, and a big ending to a big game.
here with Blaze head coach Danny Stewart after the OT win against the clan midweek. Um, Danny, we had to play from behind. We played with the leader back and forth game, but that's what we've come to expect against the clan this year. Yeah, we had to grind that one out. You know, I think uh, their, their first two goals just kind of unlucky bounces and that's hockey sometimes, you know, and um, I thought the first period we played a really good period and, you know, big goal by Kooks there to get us back level and I thought uh, I thought their guy made some key stops there in the first. I think we, we could have been up one or two at least there. Um, second period, a bit back and forth. Again, you know, found ourselves behind, but, uh, you know, great individual effort by JD there. Mm -hmm. Um, to get us back level again. And then, you know, we go up there and I thought for the most part, we managed it good. We managed the third period and, um, you know, we were getting pucks in behind and playing in their zone. And um, and then unfortunately just there, you know, a couple failed clearing attempts. And, you know, when that happens on a six on five, you generally, you know, guys get a little bit fatigued. And, uh, you know, we got a little bit too committed there in the corner and they went, you know, behind the net and up into the slot and, you know, free shot there. So, uh, but again, great character to find a way in overtime. You know, we, like you said, we came back twice and then, you know, to give up that lead right at the end, you know, it'd be easy to kind of bury your head in the sand and, and let that one fade away. So, you know, big two points. Big game from J.D. Dudek with the hat trick, including the game when he must have been thrilled with what he put out there. I think there. he got two. I think, I, I think he might have got credit for one, but I think he got two. But uh, like I said, great individual effort and then the OT winner. You know, I had a great game. And, uh, you know, J.D.'s, JD's going to have to be a big player for us in the, in, in the stretch drive here. And, you know, tonight was a good start. Not, not a lot of calls in the game. The refs kind of generally let that one go. But the, the couple of chances on the power play we did have were really good. Uh, two post hits, I think, on the first chance, and obviously the winner in uh, uh, via an OT goal uh, on the power play. You, you must be kind of thrilled that that's starting to get some production back in. Well, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's 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 one game, right? And and I and I agree. I think our first power play was really good. We had some really good movement there, and like you said, a couple of posts. Uh, I didn't like our second one um, late in the third there. You know, we I, I I didn't feel we had enough urgency there, but uh, you know, found a way in OT there on the four and three, four or three. Sometimes are tricky, right? Because you don't have that movement as much, and and maybe something you don't work on as much as you do your five on four and five on threes. But uh, listen, big goal by JD, and you know, we'll take that one. And then finally for me, obviously, it's a quick turnaround. We've got Glasgow again on Friday and then uh, back home on Saturday. We lose Christo mid-game. There was no current after picking up a knock in GB duty. What's the update on those guys? Yeah, just obviously we'll need some time to assess Danny. Um, you know, he was struggling there a little bit. So, um, you know, Cur Curran's knock. We, we got some positive news back from an X-ray, so it's not going to be long-term. But whether he's ready for Friday is, is uncertain. So, um, look, we, we're just going to have to wait and see what we have and, and, and roll with that. And, you know, we, we got the deadline tomorrow. We're, we're doing our best to try and bring in a, an extra body on the back end because, you know, we're struggling a bit back there. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Thank you, Coach. Yeah.